Hello everyone, my name is Shaiju Raju. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This YouTube channel is divided into four parts. In first part, I will be uploading videos regarding to computer engineering subjects offered in diploma. In second part, I will be uploading uh, videos uh, related to information technology subjects. In third part, I will be uploading videos related to computer tips and tricks. In the fourth part, I will be uploading videos related to ethical hacking. Today, I am going to uh, take one of the topic of the fifth semester computer and network security subjects. So, let's get started. The name of the topic is Caesar Cipher. So, today we are going to start with Caesar Cipher technique. Caesar Cipher technique is the oldest technique that was used by Julius Caesar for his private correspondence. So, let's see how this uh, Caesar Cipher technique works. What is actually the fundamental of all the encryption technique or all the ciphers that we are going to study in, the, in this video and upcoming video is that we are going to convert the plain text plain text into the cipher text. Now, you will be asking why we need to convert plain text into cipher text. Suppose there is some text, suppose uh, there is some password, suppose uh, LJP is your password and you are transferring that password from one computer to another computer and if some third person sees your password and if that is in plain text, that is LJP, then your password is lost or it so we are, con we are going to convert that plain text into a text that will not be readable by any third person. So technique works, technique works like this. Suppose you are having a plain text. We, I am reloading plain text with P. Suppose plain text is hello world. Now you need to convert this into cipher text. In any encryption technique, when you need to convert any plain text into cipher text, you need a key. And in every algorithm, key is different. So for Caesar cipher, key is fixed, that is key equal to 3. Now what this 3 indicates, 3 is the number of shifts that we are going to do. I am going to show you soon how this uh, key is useful. Now to find the cipher text of the plain text, you need to follow one formula that is C equal to P plus K mode 26. Now C denotes cipher text, P denotes plain text letter and uh, K denotes key and key is fixed 3. And we are going to take modulus 26 operation of whatever we get in this part. So first of all, so we have to find the cipher text. So we are going to find the cipher text of each letter separately. So let's find the cipher text of the letter H. So follow the for, follow uh, follow the formula. Here C equal to P. P means H here, plain text letter that is H. Now what we are going to do to solve Caesar cipher method, to solve the example using Caesar cipher method, first of all write from A to Z, write from starting from alphabet A to Z and give number to each alphabet. So we are giving number starting with 0, so we will end up with 25 when we reach Z. Now you have to look the plain text letter. Plain text letter is H. Find the number associated, find the number that is given to the letter H. That is 7. This is the thing. 7 number is given to letter H. Write that here. 7 plus. Now K, K, K is key. K is fixed here. That is 3. Mode 26. Now what you have to do, 7 plus 3 that is 10, 10 more 26. Now to find the modulus operation, you have to 
divide this number by 26 and whatever is the remainder that is your modulus answer but here when you divide this number by 26 you will get answer in point decimal decimal points decimal so here decimal is not allowed so you remember one trick whenever you get this number smaller than this number that is 10 is smaller than 26 answer of the modulus operation is 10 itself so c equal to 10 now find the letter associated with number 10 here k so i am writing ciphertext here c ciphertext for the letter h is k ciphertext for the letter h is k similarly you have to find using same method for all the alphabets for e when you follow the same procedure you will get h for l l and o you get o o r similarly i give you a assignment a task to solve for this world what will be the cipher text for this uh, word world and comment below the video so you will be clear with uh, this scissor cipher method now this encryption part this we have whatever we have done here this is an encryption encryption using scissor cipher method now we are going to do the decryption part because using this encryption technique when we say, when you send this word hello the receiver will be receiving k h o o r now this is not the your original word you need to convert that word into original text that is a plain text so decryption method is used for that purpose only converting your cipher text to plain text this process is known as decryption you have to formula you have to follow the formula you have to follow the formula in decryption method also decryption matter uh, for decryption we are finding plain text so plain text is equal to cipher text minus key mode 26 again uh, first lesser uh, letter of cipher text is k so see the number for k 10 minus k is fixed for cipher that is 3 mode 26 you will get 7 mode 26 now as i told in the part of encryption that whenever you do a modulus operation and when you get the least number smaller than this the answer of the modulus operation is 7 now look here what is at number 7 see here look at here what is at number 7 that is h so the answer is h so decryption for the letter k is h that is our plain text when you do the decryption of letter H, you will get E. When you get the decryption or do the decryption of letter O, you get L. And again O, you get L. Again R, you get O. Decryption again, you do this part by yourself. So you will be clear by this uh, method. Now, so this is a decryption and this is a cipher method. I hope you understood that. Now I will be telling you some problems you might come into when you solve this inner cipher method. So actually the encryption part and the decryption part using scissor cipher method is over. But when you solve some another problem you might come into uh, some difficulties. Let me tell you before what would be the difficulties you will be facing. Suppose in encryption suppose your plain text is x y z now using our formula c is equal to for x the number is 23 23 plus 3 mode 26 so that is 26 mode 26 so 26 mode 26 is calculated like this 26 more 26 26 ones are 26 
remainder is zero and whatever is the remainder that is your answer that is zero you look into your table which you have drawn for zero that is a so cipher text cipher text for the letter x is a now for y now here is the interesting part when you calculate for y what do you get uh, for y I'm just rubbing this. Y is uh, 24. 24 plus 3, that is 27. So 27 more 26. Now you have to divide this number 27 by 26. 26 ones are 26. You get remainder 1. So answer is 1. And for 1, we are having B. So cipher text for the letter Y is B. Similarly, for Z, you will get C. Now in examination, you have to show this method. If you don't show this method, you don't get marked. But there is one very simple way to check whether your answer is right or not in Caesar cipher. What you have to do? Plain text is, suppose your plain text was hello in the previous uh, previous uh, question. H, you have to look at here, H. You have to move three alphabets right side. That is one, two, three. So answer for H is K. Similarly, for E, alphabet E is here. One, two, three. So answer is H. This just to check your answer, you cannot do this directly in the examination. And suppose you uh, suppose you solve for this Z, here you don't have any alphabet further, so you move from A and again you move three letters the right side, one, two, three. So for X that is for Z that is C. Similarly for X move three letters, three alphabets further, right side, one, two, and 3 that is for x it is a so i hope students this is clear to you now problem a problem students face is doing when they do decryption suppose in decryption part suppose in decryption part uh, suppose your cipher text is suppose your cipher text is A, B, C. Now to find the plain text of this, you know cipher text is A, B, C, then plain text is X, Y, Z. Now for A, use a formula C minus K mode 26. Now for C, you have to see A, number of A is 0. C means cipher text letter. Cipher text letter we are starting with A. C minus 3 mode 26. So answer is minus 3 more 26. Now here is the problem. In modulus operation, negative is not allowed. Negative number is not allowed. We are not having any alphabet related to negative 3. So what we are doing here, whenever you get negative number, remember, whenever you get negative number, you have to just add 26 to it. So minus 3 plus 26, that is positive 23. 23 more 26. Now, as I told you before also, that, now I told you before also, when you get this number 23 smaller than this number 26, the answer is 23 itself, the number here, whatever number you get here. So, 23 we are having x, and in our plain text, we have our x. Similarly, when you solve for b, when you solve for c, you will get y and z. I want you to do that. Solve for y and z. And let me know if you face any problem. Uh, in the comment. So this is how. Encryption and decryption is done. Using Caesar cipher technique. This is a simplest technique. This technique is right now not used. But this is a basic building block. Of the other techniques. So we are studying this. Uh, this uh, 
very old technique, so it has currently been replaced with some modern techniques that are more secure than this. Now, why this technique is not used right now? I will be telling you some problems with this technique, Caesar cipher techniques. I hope this encryption and decryption part is very clear. If you are having any doubt, please comment below. I will be solving your problems as soon as, as I receive your comment. Now, the problem with Caesar cipher is that in Caesar cipher, whenever the letter in the plain text is repeated, see here, L is repeated three times, O is repeated two times. So, whenever the letter is repeated, you get cipher text same for that repeated letter. For example, see here, L we are having O, we are having L, then again O, here also you will get O. So what is the problem? If there is some attacker or some hacker is there and if he knows that you have used Caesar cipher, your this cipher text letters will be repeating. So they might guess what would be your plain text and easily break your cipher text and get the plain text back and this is very dangerous. So this, type, uh, this technique is uh, very easily breakable. So this is all about scissor cipher techniques. I hope students you understood what is scissor cipher technique. And if you are having any doubt, just comment below and I will be solving your doubts. And if you are new to my channel, then subscribe to my channel. I will be coming up with very detailed explanation of every topic that you might find difficult. So, and if you are having your any friends who are studying in other colleges, in diploma, tell them there there's there exists, tell them that there is a one channel in which I am teaching all this. It would be very helpful for them, for their exam point of view. Thank you students. Thank you for watching. Thank you. See you in next video.